I feel where the wall is. I have to bake her on the plate because I'm like, oh, I'll take my feet. Just pass her around. Oh, look out. Look out. The first thing you hear is everyone saying, We don't sound. We don't sound. Should I go? You might say it's too loud. Well, it's about it. Probably not. It's Alright, so uh, as we were saying, this is Summer Games Done Quick, and we are raising money for uh, the Organization for Autism Research, and our opening act here is Uranium Maker, and uh, alongside him on his right is Feasel, uh, well, your, your left, I guess, is Feasel, and uh, right is Quetzal, uh, so. Yeah, Quetzal's gonna be my guy who explains everything so I don't have to talk. <laughs> Blaster Master is serious time. Yeah. Yeah. So you haven't even started yet, man. Are you serious time? Okay. This whole cutscene. Yeah, everything yeah. is serious. Pretty serious. Time. This, this, oh, oh, this oh, awesome oh, story oh, sequence oh, is oh, uh, serious time. Oh, okay. All right. This first so, guy is already calling serious time. Uh, we are ready, ready to go. 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 Um, um, props, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking it, so I know when I start. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, too much data going. All right. So, um, yeah, we did start the timer for this. So these uh, flying yeah. things that he's killing right now is to reduce lag in the game. Since uh, there's a, there's a couple of enemies that really lag out the game, and if he uh, Take special effort to kill those that can save them some time over the course of the run. Uh -huh. Same story with pausing between room transitions here, because that skips, I think, about three quarters of a second each time he does it, and it also changes the enemy behaviors in some cases. That'll also add up over the course of the run. I'm sure I look deadly serious right now. I'm really not trying to. Mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's already going better than the run I did in January, so that's a good thing. you can uh, strafe and move without changing direction is something I actually didn't know about this game until recently. You just hold the A button after you throw a grenade to do it. That, that, that one blew my mind when I found that out, because that was like the one thing I wanted in this game. I actually remember to switch to missiles while I was doing the door transitions, unlike last time where I forgot. Yeah, he's using his three-way missiles to uh, speed up the uh, mini-boss coming up in a few seconds here. So sometimes he likes to glitch out and like the door, the gate will refuse to open. Mm -hmm. But I discovered that it seems like it only happens if I don't shoot him enough that the fifth missile will kill him. What's the purpose of a pausing thing? No, it's yeah, the it's same transition. It skips the scroll. Hit the timer, hit the timer. It's faster than the scrolling animation. Seems to be a common thing in some of these games. Considering how many door transitions there are in this game, there are a ton. Yeah, there are a ton. Only Super Metroid has her. Or any of the castle games. Or any, or, any, or, any, or, any, or any NES game at all. Any sort of Metroid game. Yeah, in this room here, he does a couple tricks with uh, manipulating when the when the flying bomb spawns, so we can uh, shoot them as soon as they appear. <laughs> Nice. 
I just almost never hit that. It saves like an eighth of a second. But it still works. Work. It's it's work. points. You can play. Like, value on that. Anyone who's played this game should just know how annoying those caterpillars can be because of the They're small so hard to hit. So I hate them. <laughs> I'm always just so impressed just how he's able to nail everyone. Yeah. That almost never happens either. Yeah. <laughs> Kill a couple of monsters in here to try to get hover drops because he needs um, a certain, you get a certain number of hover drops before the end. Well, before he gets to level four in order to not have to farm for hover. Yeah, these guys don't drop it very often. Oops. But yeah, they're not being nice this time. Yeah. They were nice in my run in January. Oops. Okay, so that's my one. I screwed up the door transition once. It's not a disaster if I have to stop and farm for cover in a live run, but in the like, submission run, I would definitely reset if I had to stop. There's four bosses in this game where you can use a fairly well-known glitch to kill them with one grenade, and I'll let him do it, and I'll explain what happened. Yeah, so what happens is if you hit this, this, and three other bosses in the game with a grenade and then pause, the, the grenade will still keep hitting them, and then you listen for when the audio from the grenade effect changes, and then when it changes, you unpause, and the boss dies. But they can do that to you too. So if they if you if they hit you when you pause, it's a double KO. Then. Yeah, that, that's the, the biggest risk for that is uh, the sixth and seventh boss, because they well, the fourth boss is really trivial even without the grenade trick, but uh, especially the seventh boss because. The uh, first time he opens his mouth, he sh spits a fireball at you, and if you miss the timing on it just a little bit, you, you might accidentally pause it while you, the fireball is on top of you. And like you said, the pause trick works on you too, so. Guys. Uh, we got a local news station. They're going to come here yeah, just to take a couple of shots of everybody. Uh, I'm waiting for you to appear. Just, just just want to to show. I want to show. I want to get that on the news. I mean, I guess it's not a huge deal so, since they can't yeah. actually see so it. So just like, so you know, I'll I'll see a big guy with a camera here. Just <laughs> killing you guys. Always room for more equipment. Yeah. <laughs> There's always room. But that's fine. Anyway, so I just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. Just so you, you don't want to be like, do one here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the hitbox in this game is really just something, especially when you just got a hover drop from that red pod that you killed. Yeah. yeah. This is kind of. Yeah, doing this room perfectly is really tricky. Yeah, that went okay. I can't get that one, even if I wanted to stop and get it, I can't reach it. So the game's trolling me. That almost never happens, where it, both of them fall out of the right side. Usually that screws me up a little bit, but I did that time, so that's good. I still haven't quite figured out what causes that. I know it's lag related. Oh, there were some. Like, and basically, anytime the enemies do something weird, it's almost always lag related. Unfortunately, this room's a little easier to do the three way business. Like, does anybody else can uh, do it before you have to jump up to where you can get bombed? Yeah, high. Yep. Yeah. 
free. Uh, the second one was, yeah. Like you tell down? Yeah. So, I mean, Plus I saw it for a split second, but yeah. yeah. But enemies always drop either power or hover, or there's no randomness for monster type. Yeah, well, some of them drop uh, um, special weapons as well, but those are pretty rare. Um, but yeah, the same monster type can never drop something different. Like, they'll drop... Oh, come on, really? Uh, like these guys always drop hover, most enemies always drop power. Nice. If anybody wants to read donations, feel right. free. Looks like the donations are showing up again. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, I did chip in. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, we have a few donations. Uh, Twenty dollars from Christopher Hassel, uh, wishing us good luck and good fortune. Uh, Three hundred dollars from Eric Hibbs. Thank you for that. Thank you. Very, very good. Right off the bat. Off to a great start. Uh, Eric says this donation is made up of the money generated by my HDQ 2011 donation stream and some extra for good measure. So, oh, uh, it's that Eric. Okay. He, he's the Eric who couldn't make it to HDQ. Uh, so let's be remember. Um, to anyone who donated to my stream, rest assured that your money has gone to a worthy cause. This donation goes towards two goals, seeing a 100% run of one That was almost perfect. Yeah, because, I mean, anyone that doesn't know this game, I mean, that, that boss appears and it moves, and then um, a few seconds later will turn to stone and then spawn somewhere else. And, uh, but pretty much a perfect is where you can kill each one before it turns to stone. Yeah, or even moves very far. So that was <laughs> almost <laughs> the best I've ever done. Yeah. By like maybe half a second. Uh, that was really good. Yeah, the pause trick I doesn't work on that pause. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, two, four, six, and seven. Yeah, and even if it did work on that boss, it wouldn't be all that useful because I'd have to move him every time. Because mm -hmm. he's got each one counts as a separate. Enemy. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's 16 of them, and they have 8 hit points. Right here, just for a minute. Yeah, um... Can you lean back when it's served? Can you back? Because it's when you enter level 4 that you want to change. So uh, the $300 has gone towards the Link to the Past 100% run, and no, I'm not reading your puns, because they are way too, like, visually oriented. You've got plenty of, plenty of uh, self-described expert punters here. Yes. Uh, so uh, about the 100% for Link to the Past, um, you may notice on the right stream there, you see a bunch of these donation goals that all have zeros. Well, you can actually, uh, in the chip-in comment, put um, if you want towards anything there. If you have no idea what banana wing duck cola is or banana cream pie lexi, well you'll probably find out by the time you start Star Tropics because it was pretty memorable from the last marathon. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, the others are pretty self-explanatory. Game choices, bust running for Mega Man 9, needs $200 to hit that. Alright, so uh, other donations. One from Tim Cuffer. Hey, Dad! Yeah, that one. The uh, Uranium Maker's Dad. Uh, nothing sinks a boss like a Uranium Maker. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's awesome. Hundred dollars from Frederick Dixon. Donation oh, wow. for the Metal Gear No Handgun. Okay. So we have a hundred on that, and that actually meets the goal we set at fifty. Yeah. So wow. that's yes. right. Nice. Metal nice. Gear is in fact a No Handgun. Right now. Well, I guess I'll practice that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Naram Kishat. I sorry if I butchered that. Uh, great college guys are doing for us. Let us go towards the bidding war for Mario vs. DK. Okay. So Mario vs. DK has an early ten dollar lead in that battle, and I put twenty. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, Clinton Nichols first donation, but surely won't be the last. That's good to hear. Here's the hoping you guys shatter even AGDQ's record. Well, it'll happen because of you guys. So. 
Yeah. One thing I like about this game for NES side scroll is just that there's an exploration element to it too. Because yeah. I mean, each each level doesn't go directly to the next. He's having to backtrack back all the way to the beginning of the game in order to get to level four. Now that he has the upper ability that he got from the third boss. Yeah, Metroid's like that as well. Makes it really nice. Yeah, this game is a lot more only much fewer the vertical shafts to jump up. Yeah. Also a lot bigger in general. Yeah. And you can't save when you use passwords. <laughs> yeah, that's the big <laughs> <that's the laughs> <one. laughs> so let's go. That's the big flaw in this game is that there's no way to save. You have to beat it all in one go and you have limited continues. So it's already a pretty difficult game and just that just amplifies it by waiting ten times. Yeah, that's where a lot of people got stuck. Yeah, I could never beat the fifth boss without a power death gun. When I we'll see when it gets there. Yeah. This is level four. This is four. Yeah. When I started making serious attempts on this run, level five actually gave me a lot of trouble. Like I don't. I think I got to the boss like twelve times and died before I actually managed to kill him. Like in a speedrun setting. Like I done. It, I had done it before, but I hadn't really been trying to do it quickly. And it still took me like a couple of weeks before I could consistently not die to him. So this is the maze level in the game. Yeah. Wait. No. Oh, come on, really? I like. I do really yeah, like the music here right too, because it's kind of complex for an NES game too. It's like the tempo changes and his chromatic skills. Yeah. It's interesting. This game is great. So for those just joining us, um, we are raising money for the organization oh, yeah. Autism yeah. Research. So um, if you like what you see, you want to support a great cause, feel free to donate whatever you can afford. And you know, if, if you're donating, you can also put your uh, donation towards one of the, the various uh, bidding wars we have, or if you want to see a certain character playing a certain game, you can see the whole list if you go to our schedule. Um, and besides from that, we have some great prizes coming up. Um, the grand prize this year is a 3DS that we're giving away. Okay, he's, do, he's about to do a kind of a slightly difficult yeah, trick here. Trick to through. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because if, if you're, if you're in invincibility frames, you're getting hit. You can walk over slime. That's what that is. But but if you if it's if you're if you're off, you die instantly. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed that up last year. I didn't I didn't move as fast as I was supposed to and. I ran out of there just really before I could get to the other, get to the little bridge there. And then click OK. And then we should... Lost me about 20 seconds. Let's see here. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not Fred the Frog. Okay. He's fighting here. Yeah. <laughs> the one from the intro. Oh. 100%. 100%. Alright, he's a frog. Fred? No. Let's <laughs> nice. okay. Now we need to be Can't you do some fun stuff with that guy to give him a fire tongue? Uh, no, the fire. Well, you can if you edit the ROM, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do pretty much anything if you edit the ROM. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Your own game. But yeah, he, uh, he actually uses the exact same AI as the level 7 boss, he just uses a different attack pattern. And so you can actually edit uh, his attack pattern and give him a fire tongue. Yeah, he's better at just controlling me today. No, it's, it's all still So you only have to do what's coming. Yeah, before you mark a bit of the make sure you attach it to the challenge that you make. It's been done. Yeah, you have to make sure you go here and you push this Okay, we've seen the 
Alright, pretty cool trick coming up in the next room here to all let him do it. Alright. Oh my god. Alright. So what he did there was um, he actually he, he, he turned around Jason the exact frame that he had touched the door. And then he was uh, able to reverse the direction that the door move animation happened and then also disassociate Jason from the map by enough to basically warp through the door after that saves about 30 seconds or so. Yeah. I didn't know about that trick when I did my runs that are on the site right now. Um, it was discovered about six months afterwards by some people on task videos. Uh, but it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, I've been able to do it. Yeah, th this level right here is actually where I'm like most likely to die, just from running out of energy. Like, not it's not the level where I'm most likely to like screw up a trick, but it's just so hard to get through this and then also get back and not take a whole lot of damage. He, he kills a lot of those fish to cut down a leg. Too. Yeah, the, these fish right here are like the laggiest enemies in the game, other than the uh, spinners that drop over. I like to kill as many of them as I can. For that reason. Alright, a couple new donation comments. Um, one from Ruben Arredondo. Thanks for the rungs, great event. That's $10 from him. And uh, Kara Nibble, Nibble, I'm sorry, uh, donated 10 and said, Toss my donation early since I have a big weekend ahead. I have no doubt you guys will do us crap. Oh, it's from uh, Quag, actually. Uh, the Castlevania runner, so hopefully I'm ready to help raise money for Jan come January. Best of luck to all the runners. And another $5 from James Danzel. Uh, no comment, though. Uh, thank you for those donations. Uh, again, if you uh, want to put donations towards any of these things, if you want to see a banana cream pie in Kuesel's face, that guy right there, sitting next to Rain Maker, then. You, you can put money towards that. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me explain the story behind that more. But anyway, um, there's a glitch here where the boss can fail to spawn sometimes, so he tries to kill as many enemies in the room before it to cut down on leg. Next to the door? Yeah, I, yeah. The, for some reason, there's a glitch in the map there where the, the, it thinks there's a door just to the left of the actual door, and it saves like oh, a quarter second to use it. This is pretty much hands down the toughest boss in the game, especially with the level one guy. Let's just do it on a first choice. Okay, yeah, because once he really starts sending those bubbles flying, it was one of the ones. Yeah. There's still a chance I could die on the way back, but it's a lot less likely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got three sprites on the screen with two frames of animation each. That's a lot. That would do good. Alright, probably AI or something. Yeah. I mean, for an NES game, this actually has a pretty decent graphics. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I mean, each level is just so distinctive looking, too. Unless, the, unless this next fish really, really decides he hates me, then I'm good. Right. So the little, like, little trick he's doing here actually is that if you hold the A button when you're using the dive power up that you have here, you can move faster. Than I didn't know that until I first started watching the A buttons. I'm killing these guys because otherwise this room lags a lot. 
Alright, um, Rescue Rangers is a game coming up in a bit. Um, someone uh, is donating five dollars and says, uh, challenges you to beat the hammer level. <laughs> I'm not gonna, no, I'm only gonna do any percent, I'm not gonna do any percent on it. Okay. We're taking donations for Chip versus Dale. Well, I mean, it was just one level, I didn't know if it was up. <laughs> It's up to you. Yeah, I could. I haven't practiced it, but I could yeah. do it. I guess. Yeah, that sounds all, like all a challenge. Right, that's right. Don't practice right now. You got time. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? Yeah. yeah. You want to put a goal for it? Like, is it that? Is it a big pain? Twenty dollars? I can do it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I should practice. <laughs> is there another any exercise these two? Uh, yeah, feel free if to you know, you know, one give your own challenges to us if you want. We have the right to veto them if we feel like it'll be too difficult or take up too much time. But or, or, or just be not entertaining to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like trying to beat the level 7 frog without grenades, no, not happening. <laughs> yeah, let's go, what, four minutes or something? Pretty, well, it takes four minutes if I don't use grenades. If I don't use, yeah, so... If I have to, if I have to shoot him in the mouth with the regular gun, it takes like four minutes to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nicholas uh, Kai donated fifty dollars and wants Trent Boy to go deathless. And how do you pronounce this? I don't know. <laughs> Good luck with deathless. <laughs> it's fifty dollars, man. You're obligated to restart if you got <laughs> I almost never get that jump either. <laughs> hey, this Deathless Gravitron is hard enough. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> so does that go towards the training side? No. Um, Alright, James Rodriguez says, uh, put my $100 for playing as Terra in Birth by Sleep. I think that's the one that yes! just does it. Yes! 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 I did almost hear her groaning. <laughs> her brother's going to warn her right now. <laughs> I'm really so sorry. Do keep in mind this is all ice here, so yeah, this is it's getting all these getting all these kind of precise oh, jobs. It's it's, uh, it's yeah, the record was an ice level. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, there's a jump coming up that I call the Name of Faith. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going, going to attempt it in a live run because Essential wants to know who donated that hundred dollars. <laughs> Nobody in this room. No one in this room. Yeah. Oh my god. You got her angry. No, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, I wasn't even trying! Oh my god. 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 Oh, ever since that donation from Rodriguez. Everything Everything is going down. Hours of ah! It makes me so mad. I wasn't even trying to do the job. Yeah, because the, the leap of faith is going under that platform instead of over it. I mean, it's. It, I mean, I, I've seen him do it many times, but it's it's a lot riskier for saving like a second or so, basically. from her house, so I'd appreciate you not pissing her off too much. <laughs> we have to live with her. <laughs> Yeah, that, and that, that's about the angriest I think most of us have ever seen her. Both Essentia and me. Just pretend we never said any of that. I'll start with the I don't know if that can be good count. <laughs> All right, good work. <laughs> we love you too, X Split. <laughs> like the only person that doesn't have problems. No, it had to have been the uh, Justin's like server or taking apart. I guess. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so the, 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 <laughs> the, box, the spikes doesn't go all the way to the bottom in well, pretty yeah. much any room that has this tile set, so it's, it's taking so, advantage of that. So it's not just like, they'll never notice. Yeah, clearly they have no such thing as layers in this game. <laughs> Lazy level designers. What was the NES game when you back? <laughs> that is ice, he's walking down there too, so this is... Everybody wants the ice level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's been like, what, two good ice levels? I don't know. Which one? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Speculating? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have $50 going towards uh, MM9 Buster Only from wow. JJ Foot. The Dope Fish. The Dope Fish. Well, it's that one, right? That, yeah, that boss can take a while to die sometimes and waste the time. Yeah, like in the in both of the runs on the site right now, he like zombified and wasted a bunch of time. Far more in the deathless run than the death run. It's obnoxious. Alright, and we have our first donation towards Banana Wing Duck Cola coming from Mikey Young. <laughs> <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Mike! I warned Darwin that he was going to get bananas in the ears again. Yeah. He said, uh, because two bananas a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> also, I missed it during Jared and Q, and I still haven't quite forgiven Darwin Duck for schedule, schedule, schedule. <laughs> for those interested, we do have large screen viewing in the other room. Just so you know. Okay. Everyone wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's like HD what? It's uh, like, if, if anyone was wondering why he didn't use that HD. trick to go through that gate when he first came here, it's because uh, to get back now you'd have to game over at that point. Yeah, I'm not doing a death route. It's not this time. The uh, run with deaths does save time though, right? Uh, a lot. Yeah. You yeah. Didn't make yeah if I, well, again, I didn't know about that trick when I did that run. Whatever. But it's if like everything done. went right yeah. and I did that trick, I could probably get the death run down to like 34 yeah. minutes. I mean, the biggest single one in the death run is level five, right? Skipping the whole time section. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because oh, yeah, he would have just suicided after killing the, the giant crab and then skipped that whole part where he used the tank to get back. To Alright, uh, $20 from uh, Lloyd Gills, that's easy. Um, going for his great cause, wishing for a great marathon. Uh, Brocklin McIntyre says, Good luck to everyone, especially my speedrun Bo Zire. Put this towards Ventus Story in Earth by Sleep. How much was that? Tw uh, not even close to 100. <laughs> <laughs> one, 20. One fifth of 100. <laughs> also, Spider. Yeah, you can climb. You can climb vertical walls now, but not ceilings yet because of the less power up you got. And that's actually what it kind of annoying in this game is you can't turn it off. All right, and uh, Josh Bizeau put ten dollars. Uh, my donation goes towards seeing the speed run for one of my all-time favorite games, Super Metroid. Just like that. Get hyped for. <laughs> <laughs> You know we were this close to cutting it, but yeah. <laughs> I guess we can keep it around. <laughs> I guess there is someone who likes it somewhere. I guess somebody likes it. Yeah. <laughs> we all Else we fun. wouldn't be. Wait. What is this even about? It's the cute animals at the end that's a little deal. room looks like it belongs in Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! Are you serious? <laughs> that has never happened before, ever! Yeah, that's a marathon. Right? <laughs> it begins. What is the Ventus? That's how you know. Is it, wait, there's no is she Ventus. running that? Is, is oh, it's Ventus? Terra Ventus and Aqua are yeah, different choices. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Alright. They just right. listed it wrong in the part They probably thought nobody would donate for Ventus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I call this the Disco Inferno level. It's a lot of love this music. Mac. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mac. 
That's the basis. 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 That's the We'll be explaining more about all the nicknames for the Bird by Sea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which one's Magma? Yeah. It's, I'll just say it's ma- It's not Terabent, it's not quite it's Magma, Heatwave, and Fire Roll. <laughs> <laughs> the fire is really overpowered in the game, if you can guess. <laughs> Wait, so Terra is Magma? So now it's 120. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember which one was. Well, Ventus is Magma because all the other ones have real names. Yeah. At least according to the uh, application. Well, okay, uh, someone noted the lack of um, Contra runs. We actually had one, but you played with a sword, so it didn't hurt anything else. I kind of learned it, but I like despise the game now because I played it too much. <laughs> If I ever end up despising Blaster Master, that'll be a dark day. <laughs> Same thing with me. Yeah, I'll be small my favorite I just can't stop. I'll, I'll have to get you a uh, Blaster Master 2 card to make up for it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that'll, 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 that'll make everything better. <laughs> yeah. Or I might bring the dark day a little bit closer. <laughs> but the music is so good. Especially that final level. <laughs> <laughs> UA is still bitter over renting a Genesis just to play Blaster. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Uh, James Rodriguez donated another one hundred and one dollars, and now says it's for Sensha's choice for birth by Sweet. Oh, <laughs> will she forgive me now? <laughs> As far as landing on the platform without having a job. Oh, she <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so and everybody was not actually part of the ascension. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. It's another one of those things that just saves like a quarter of a second, but it always makes me really happy when I land it. Okay, this is right. really tricky. So yeah, he's got right. four, yeah. four yeah. times. Four times. Four times. Oh, yeah. Three if times. magma is changed. Seriously, right. silence. I'm dead serious. Silence. It's serious time. By the way, Ascension wants the hundred points. Seriously, quiet. First Terra? Ah, I messed it up so bad. Ah, uh, come on. Okay. Oh so, yeah, you have to point all that thought, but... That was... I would have reset for that if this was not a live run. Yeah, because like you said earlier, you have a real danger of getting a double KO with that if he hits you with the fireball at the same time you hit him with the grenade. And the yeah. I don't know where Fusil went, but someone wants $50 towards playing as Dale because Chip gets too much screen time. Yeah. I think he went to go practice. practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. practicing yeah. 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 Oh, come on, really? Now he has the, all the tank power up so you can climb on ceilings as well as walls. That's nice. I don't have any hover. That's going to be a real problem. Yeah, there's a couple short, minor shortcuts he uses hover for in the final level. <laughs> well, I need some to get over that pivot. I'm throwing it. I need the energy on the way to drop hover. There's a couple that might have dropped it. Uh, there's some turrets. I guess he's doing No. There's no turret. Not, not that I can reach. I mean, there's that guy, but I don't think I can reach him. Yeah, I can't reach him. Oh, nice. Okay. James Twilight. Oh, it's sort of... It's not a mess. There's a couple turrets in level 3 that aren't too far out of the way that I can try to kill them. Hopefully they'll drop some. It'll render soon enough. If you might be. If you ask it nicely. Probably not. Oh, that doesn't work. 
There's actually a caterpillar here that can drop them too. So, please. This is probably my only real mave with the controls in this game is the sticking. Because if you get when you get close enough to the corner, you'll stick. Yeah, um, so you have that, to jump a little sooner than you already was. Well. Yeah, and it makes the it's actually easier to be level eight with no power ups simply because of this stupid sticking. Did you say that the, the one of the ports of this game lets you turn that on? Uh, it's not a port; it's a sequel. They they made a Game Boy Color game that plays a lot like this, except they call it the controls are really bad, like really stiff. And uh, one of the things it lets you do is you can turn off uh, the wall, the wall power. Because in, in that one, you actually stick after you get the first wall power, which in this one you need both. But you can turn the wall power bar off. And, wow, that's... <laughs> really? Really? I hate awesome. those bugs. <laughs> Oh, okay. So the, the, the game likes me this time, except I have almost no health. Yeah. This is this is, this is a really, this could be a really annoying section right here. Okay. You bastard! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if any of those guys hit him, he falls off and has to go all the way back to the right of the room. So yeah, this segment is not. I, I saw him stream a really good run right up until there a couple weeks ago. He started using it's gonna priming for uh, homing missiles, um, which only actually fire if there's enemies to lock on to it. I've said it once, it's gonna be a real problem. Come on, give me some health. Really? Really? They hate you again. Come on! No! Okay. Alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Come on! No! Son of a... Oh, well, now I have full health. Yay! That's very good for the whole time. It was just a speed tactic. Yeah, that's to save time. Just some easy death as a shortcut. Or as a maid. <laughs> yeah, I lost like three seconds. Yeah. This room is really annoying too, just because of the way the caterpillars knock you right into the spikes. And, and then you stick to the time. floor and drive through the spikes. And yep. that too. But well, you have no health again. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really need it in this next room. There's a couple yeah, right. <laughs> There's a couple spots where I might take some damage, but yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Of course yeah, you don't need any health. Yeah. <laughs> health power-ups there. Yeah. I like how you can clip through the bombs with the little oh. sticking to it. Yeah, I'm just listening to you. Okay, serious time. Serious time. I hit it when you come to see Yeah, it's true.
4335. Yeah. Sorry, considering I had a bunch of bad errors there. <laughs> Two really nasty falls and a death. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yep, the sire. Yeah, my turn, huh? What's next? I'm up. So, yeah. do we have any final donations for Blessed? Yeah, we had, uh, I'll mm -hmm. just refresh it. Get all good. Let's see, we got $50 from Thomas Hoggins. Mm -hmm. He says, you guys rule. Got me hooked yeah. to games like Zelda and Metroid. Keep up the good work. Uh, $77 from Cody Miller. Uh, no comment yet. A <laughs> uh, dollar from Matthew Raftis. No comment yet, but I'm sure they're typing it out. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. They're gonna type you up, are the man. They're going to type reminder. up very thanks for that awesome blaster basketball. <laughs> Just a reminder, when you do donate, if you leave a comment, it, there's kind of a delay before we actually get the comment versus when we get the donation. So if you hear us read your donation but not your comment, you know, just wait a few minutes. We'll probably read it later. Yeah, we don't take you. I promise. Not that much. <laughs> oh, Depends. Right. Um, Most. Depends on who it is. If, if you right. vote for Terra, we I really like it. Do you want to do that? Change the layout. Uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, because you're kind of like that. Okay, it's Zyre. We don't mention the magic structure. What's the start of this right there? That's how magic is. Right side. I'm actually on camera. No, you're on camera. You're like halfway on camera. I think now we're I'll have to make sure to sit there for Star Traffic, so that's very thanks. Very thanks. Okay. So they know where, which pie, which face that which pie they want to face. Okay. <laughs> All right. Would you want to go? All right. Cody, 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 Cody,